Hello, I'm at 316 Norfolk. It is Monday, August 15th, 2022, and I'm going to be heading on upstairs for part three of the move-in walkthrough. So as we head upstairs, the uh, walls here do have a lot of marks on them. Um, just a lot of kind of wear marks and scuff marks. Floor right here is, uh, again, looks like it's almost unfinished, so definitely lots of, there's like some paint marks and some wear, just some general issues throughout. This banistery here at the top of the stairs is a little bit loose. And up here in the hallway, Again, the walls are undamaged, but there are a few kind of anchor holes on the wall. Light is working. I um, did want to point out that this right here, I believe, is going to be for the attic vent fan. Yeah, that's going to be for the attic vent fan. See, as you can see, they, they open up. So please make sure you only run that when the windows are open. If the heat and the AC is on, do not run that. So uh, just FYI. Attic access is right there. And the ceiling here has a lot of spots where the paint is kind of chipping and cracking, as you can see right there by the attic hatch. So just wanted to note that down. Right over here is going to be the left bedroom. And walls in the left bedroom do have marks on them. The chalk wall right here does have a lot of marks on it. Uh, but they'll probably just wipe right off. Closets right here does not have any doors installed. I believe they're in the other bedroom. There's also a closet rack up there. Windows right here have blinds, but no screens. They're showing some wear and tear from age and use. Ceiling fan is working and operational, and the floor in here is okay. Um, unmarked and undamaged, maybe a little bit of wear, but it's looking okay. Over here in the right bedroom. And walls in here do have a few marks on them. The ceiling fan remote is right there on the wall. Windows here have uh, blinds. The left blind is broken, and neither of them have screens, but the left blind is broken, right blind is working. Ceiling fan working and operational. Again, walls are okay, and the floor in here is um, unmarked and undamaged. And the closet right here has white wire shelves. Wherever you see these white wire shelves, please make sure you do not overload them and spread the weight out as best you can. And we got a lot of marks on the doors, the trim, the window sills, baseboards, all are going to have a lot of marks on them. And the floor in here is um, unmarked and undamaged, looking okay there. Next, we're going to come on over to the hallway bathroom right here. So the hallway bathroom walls look good. We have wallpaper on the walls here. Lights, medicine cabinet, vanity are all looking okay, but they are definitely showing some wear and tear from age and use. A lot of the doors and the cabinets are loose. I know the towel rod is loose. We're missing a stopper on the sink. And again, just general heavy wear and tear kind of throughout on the sink here. Toilet, same thing, uh, just a little bit of wear and tear, but the, you know, it, it is working, just some wear, a general wear. The cabinet right here is crooked, but it is up and working. Right here, the tub, doors are looking okay. Inside's looking good. Again, maybe just some general wear and tear. But the glass doors are looking okay. Towel rods are up and working. And the um, floor in here is showing some, uh, some wear and tear just from age and use. Again, nothing out of the ordinary, but okay there. Right over here is going to be the laundry room. Walls here in the laundry room are show, or do have some marks on them kind of throughout. Looks like some touch-up marks. The, um, these basket shelves right here are, are um, a little loose. And right over here we're going to have the washer-dryer area. We have, the, uh, we have white wire shelves. We have a support that's missing on the white wire shelves right there. And right here's gonna be the washer dryer. So uh, both these units are showing wear and tear from age and use. Washing machine, just showing kind of some general wear. We do have some debris on the door right here, but uh, inside's looking okay. And please make sure you leave the washing machine door open when not in use. Dryer right here, again, definitely showing some wear and tear from age and use.
And the floor in here is uh, showing some wear. But uh, no problems there, all looking fine. All right, as we come down the hallway to the master bedroom right here, the uh, light fixture right here does not have a cover. You can see the walls in here do have a lot of marks on them, just kind of general wear throughout. And right in here is gonna be the closet. So again, closet walls have a lot of marks present, mainly just some kind of touch up marks and some paint marks. And the uh, built-in shelves here are showing, again, just some general wear. They are all up and working, but there's a couple drawers that won't close all the way. I think they just roll back over. They might stay closed after you put some items in it. Ceiling fan is working and operational. Windows here have screen and blinds. And the floor here is uh, unmarked and undamaged. No problems there. All looking okay. And here we are in the master bedroom proper. So walls here in the master bedroom do have a lot of marks on them and there are kind of some, just a lot of anchor holes present. There are some, uh, some marks on the ceiling as you can see and just some kind of general wear throughout. Got some paint marks up there on the ceiling as well. Um, windows here have screens, but this far left window blind does not work and the, uh, that right one right there does not work either. There are some curtain rod brackets, but again, they are kind of bent and not really working. And lots of marks along the wall. That door right here has a sliding screen door um, uh, and a curtain rod and brackets. Curtain rod is right there. Outside on the screen door, or on the porch rather, excuse me, there are some, there's just some kind of general wear, just from age and use. Yeah, just some kind of general wear and tear. I'm gonna take a quick look inside the closet right here. And uh, the, there's a large shelf missing down here on the bottom of the closet, as you can see, but the upper shelf is working fine. No problems there. Lots of marks on the walls in here. Floor is uh, unmarked and undamaged. Light cover, it's good. No problems there. And the floor here in the uh, master bedroom, again, is uh, showing a little bit of wear and tear. It's a little wavy, but it is uh, undamaged. HVAC vents are definitely showing some pretty heavy wear and tear. And, it, and there's a lot of wear on the bulkhead right here as well. And right in here is going to be the um, master bathroom. Master bathroom walls do have a lot of marks on them here and there. The lights are working. The uh, mirror looks good. The sink and vanity here are definitely showing some pretty heavy wear and tear from age and use, especially on the vanity. Lots of wear kind of present throughout. Towel rod is up and working. Um, shower right here is again showing some wear and tear from age and use. Um, especially in the base and on the door, definitely some heavy wear. And this, uh, I believe this is a little bit loose, yeah. Window right here. Um, so uh, no screen and the blind is, uh, is broken. Doesn't twist, but I believe it goes up and down. Toilet right here showing some wear and tear from age and use. Access panel for the jacuzzi tub is right there. Jacuzzi tub itself, there are some um, grip strips right there on the steps and the interior again is showing just some general wear and tear from age and use. And I think the switch for the, uh, the, switch for the jacuzzi is right here. I believe this is, yeah, that's gonna be the switch. Please make sure, if you wanna try and use it, I'm unsure how well the jets work. If you wanna use it, make sure the water level is above all the jets. And the floor in here is uh, showing some general wear and tear from age and use. Just some kind of general wear throughout. Uh, the exhaust fan has an exhaust fan and a heat fan all built in. Um, all right, that'll conclude the uh, move-in walkthrough for 316 Norfolk. Thank you very much.